Alright, welcome to a tutorial on the advanced use of add-on lists, the suggested add-on lists, and also uh, some more advanced uses of the packages feature. So let's say that we want to um, add some supplies in here. We'll do a cotton candy supplies and we'll add a price seven bucks let's say and that we've got I'm gonna fake this part because I don't want to ever run out so I'm gonna say we have 50 of those and uh, we'll come back to the suggested add-on list in just a second and then we're gonna add an image now if you're not aware that we do have an image library uh, I'm gonna go into concessions here and pick cotton candy supplies and then apply so that adds that in there kind of quickly so if you're doing um, if you're doing the modular jumps and you want to come in here and pick some out we already have these in here cut out for your use so uh, they already have transparent backgrounds and will sit on whatever color you want uh, very nicely so let's go back in and now that we have the cotton candy supplies let's say that we want to um, typically have a jump when they add that to their order it's going to offer them a standard list of concessions and then if they get a concession we want to offer extra supplies so I'm actually going to go into details for the supplies and I'm going to say available to customer and I'm going to say no and I'll show you why in just a second we're going to go down here and save that new item into the inventory so now when we come back we can play with it in a package because now the system knows it's there so let's say that we want to go in and start editing some of our add-on lists so where it says suggest this is just um, where you click to add a suggested list so I named this list standard we're gonna click edit and we've already got people who have ordered this have ordered the following if I wanted to take the hot dog cart out um, I could um, click a blank spot spot and then add something else um, in this case uh, the hot dog cart is pretty good if I wanted to add something else um, say even offer um, a special deal on a monster truck this week I could add that to the list uh, keep clicking more to get more suggested add-ons and then whenever you're done you just need to look down to the bottom right corner over here and you'll see a continue button so we click that and um, and now we add standard to that jump so now if somebody orders the spider-man they're gonna be offered this list snow cone cotton candy uh, hot dog cart and tables and chairs okay and now if we want to get a little bit fancier now when they add say the cotton candy we're gonna go into the standard list here and instead of standard we're gonna we're gonna assign it a new list called cotton candy and let's see what's in there what we want it to be is start with the cotton candy supplies so we're gonna add cotton candy supplies and then we can add the other uh, concessions as well so let's say we want the uh, snow cone machine in there and we still want to do tables and chairs you get the idea and um, then we hit continue now what that's going to do is when somebody places an order for the cotton candy machine it's going to offer this special list that we made just for the cotton candy machine and you can call it whatever you want these are just names to give you an idea as to what's in it and it's going to offer them additional supplies and then other concessions tables and chairs so that way you're always offering an extra add-on sale uh, with every order and now that we have that under control let's show you an advanced way to make a package deal without actually making a package because the system doesn't auto detect that you're picking say let's say that you want to have a special pick any bounce house
pick any concession and save ten dollars. Well, the system can't auto-detect that they have that in their cart, but what we can do is we can make a hidden add-on category. So what I'm going to do is make a hidden category over here, hidden add-ons. Now once we have this hidden add-ons category, we can actually put these uh, supplies into that hidden category. Uh, category and I'll show you why you might want to do something like that so we're just going to stick that in here and uh, we can put the same price in and same quantity so I, I'm just moving it not doing anything fancy yet okay and uh, you can leave that um, visible within here because we're going to hide the entire category that's why we call it hidden add-ons okay and um, once again, if you need an image, you can always grab it out of our image library if it's in there. And if not, you can use your own. Okay. So let's um, go ahead and delete this one all together. And that way, what's going to happen is, and you can do this even if you're not doing this special package deal, if you want your supplies to only be offered when they have ordered the concession machine, then you put those supplies into the suggested add-on list for the machine, but you hide all the supplies. So they're not out in the open. You can't get the supplies by themselves. You would need to order the machine first. So let's go back into this cotton candy um, order here, and we're just going to make sure that the cotton candy supplies are connected again because if you move it and maybe rename it a little bit uh, the system needs to know that you just did that so so now we have uh, just to recap we've got a standard add-on list for the spider-man here that's going to offer concessions tables and chairs and if they order a cotton candy machine at this point it's going to offer them additional supplies that they can't see otherwise right um, and uh, then from there it will also offer the rest of the concessions so that's that's what we have right now what if we wanted to make the cotton candy supplies um, stay there but we want to offer the concessions as an add-on at that lower rate. So here's what we go back into. We're going to put the machines in now and we're going to say cotton candy machine special. Okay, it does need to be named um, something different than the original name of the machine. And instead of uh, $50, our normal price, we're going to put it at $40. And instead of a quantity, we're going to say that this is a package made up of a cotton candy machine. So we're taking that cotton candy machine, oops, forgot to hit add item, there we go. Um, we're going to take that cotton candy machine and we're going to repackage it and call it a cotton candy machine special for $40 less. Okay, and we're going to add that in to our standard package. So first I have to save it because we just added a new a new package and some new items there. Then we're going to come back in and we're going to edit this standard item list and instead of the, the cotton candy machine we're now going to offer a cotton candy machine special. Okay and we could do the same thing with the rest of the concessions and that way they can have their choice so now we're saying special, add a concession now and save $10. Prices displayed are the reduced rate. So we change the text up here. Click continue. And now when we save changes, I think I can take you through a sample order and show you how this is going to go down. Don't forget we haven't gone in to hide our package, our hidden category yet. So we need to go from the view edit inventory, go into product categories, and then we're going to hide the hidden add-ons. Otherwise they're not hidden. Alright, so 
Let's go into the front page, the front end, where the customers would be looking at this. We're going to go order by date. Select a date and a time. And then we're going to come in here and add a Spider-Man. Okay, and we're going to add it to our cart. Now as you can see, we have some discounted uh, concessions in here. This is uh, normally $50 by itself. I can show you that in a second. And, um, and now it's being offered for $40. So if I add that to the cart, then I now have a discounted uh, package because they got a jump first. Now, had they gone straight into the concessions and looked at that go into concessions, you'd see that the cotton candy machine is typically 50. So by doing it as an add-on, but making it a package within the add-ons, you can change the prices. So hope that helps with that, um, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.